Hello everyone, I am Polkit Gupta. I am again in this video to tell you about another interesting project which is this time a web application. Last time you must have seen a video about remote relay controller. If not then you can check my YouTube channel. That software was related to controlling a remote embedded system through Java Swing uh, GUI software. This time we, uh, I will show you a web application which is somewhere related to that but on a big scale. So last time we were controlling a small embedded system. This time we will control a huge plant, a complete manufacturing unit. For an example, you can think of uh, like crude oil fractional distillation process where in a blast furnace the crude oil is heated up very at 100 of degrees Celsius and we get different oil like kerosene, petroleum and so on. So this, in the system like this, we have so much complexity and everything has to be controlled and monitored like temperature, pressure and different uh, devices which are creating this environment, the optimal environment for the distillation process. So for this, I developed a web application through which we can connect to the remote system, the complete system and we can all monitor that uh, detail and also can send the trigger, uh, release triggering send, uh, value. Like we can also trigger any uh, different um, relay or any motors or any uh, device which is creating a certain environment. Like in flight simulation, you can think of a flight simulation like uh, in the airplane, the pilot can change the thrust, thereby increasing the uh, height and the speed of the airplane and also can read the sensor data, like what is the current height and so on. So now let's move to uh, the web application. This web application I have hosted on WebScala dot in you must have been, you must have been thinking what is scala so it's a very popular term if you google it then you will get that scala it's supervisory control and data acquisition is a like is a system operating with coded signals over communication channel as to provide control of remote equipment using typically one communication channel per remote station so we will do all these things. Normally we have these CADA on our desktop as an uh, application, but this time I developed a web application which will connect to the remote system and give you the live data and the live control. So coming to the web this web application, the, these are some pages about login features, help and contact. Like these are normal and I will not discuss none of these. Uh, so to start, uh, you can click on register. Then you can enter name, your email, password. For example, I add my name. Then I add my email. Currently I have removed the email confirmation so you can add any email. But later on I will activate that, make that compulsory. So now I am adding this. And a dummy phone number. Okay. So here you can see that now we are on the control panel our main control panel and it's saying that you have no SCADA server configured currently connected to Neurotronics public SCADA server like the working of uh, this web application will be uh, I should show you the, my blog where you can find the detail of this web project the working of this project is a, a little bit complicated so here you can see all the details of this CADA, how it was made, what was the features and the explanation of server. Here you can see the server explanation and for the front end also I have written everything so that you can get 
how I made this. Now coming to the working, this is the diagram which I made just before some minute so that it can be more clear to you guys. The client will have a, uh, the user will have a client that is web browser. Like currently we have this Neuroscara control panel. Now we are sending the request to the main server which is running on webscada.in IP address which has a capability of two n numbers of client. So here we are sending either request and response and these request and response are firstly are either Ajax because it's a single uh, page web application and it can also it, it is also shock it because only with the help of TCP Shocket we can push any data or notification onto the web page. Now our cloud has also a database which checks the data server IP. Now data server is a process running on a PC or on an embedded system with its own small database to get all the data from this these sensors and actuators so this is uh, here resembling the functional unit which is the complete plant which is sending the message uh, and the data which is being saved here and also pushed to the cloud and from cloud the client can get it the data from its respective data server so you can read about this on this page uh, maybe you will get more idea now let's move to the functionality how to use it and what are the features of this web scala? Here you can see some widgets like voltage meter, current, and power. So these are some circuits which are connected to uh, my sample functional plant, which is installed in some country. Here you can see current is fluctuating a bit in some other branch. These are the main voltage and power. This one is the input, sorry, output uh, widget where I can change the thermostat setting in the embedded system or a variable in a process on running on the PC. I can also change it on here digitally. So on the real time, this data will go through the sockets and maybe Ajax and will trigger and uh, give the data to the respective process. This is an example of live data monitoring. So you can see that yellow is voltage, blue is current, and there is also a random signal. I can change the timestamp of the data. Like now it's 100 millisecond. Now it's 10 millisecond. Like this. It's one second. Here there are some input fluid, uh, widget like fluid level. Sensors are giving data. So if the fluid level is changed, then this will move up and down. Again, heat sink temperature, it's also an input widget. This oxygen, the pressure of the oxygen in some cylinder is output. The RPM of DC motor, we can change the DC motor RPM like here, the like two RPM. So on the runtime, on the real time, this data will go and we will have the changes in our system. So this was all about this uh, web application i hope you like this demonstration and my ideas about in the id field if you have any idea or you want to discuss anything with me and you want to see more project like these then please stay connected to my youtube channel and to my blog polkit.eu thank you